Hey, today I'm going to go over a basic of using the live trace and sometimes it's better just to use the pen tool and shapes to trace over a photo when you don't want to have too many extra um, anchors and paths. But sometimes live trace is helpful if you have a shape that you just want to trace really quickly and then maybe you'll convert it back into say a JPEG or something for a design where you're not worried about the number of uh, paths and points and whatnot. Anyway, first thing you want to do is go to File New in Adobe Illustrator and open up a new file. Just have a regular letter size here. Then go to File Place. And I have a couple photos, but if you want to go ahead and open up one of your own photos, um, that's fine. You can open a photo of yourself or um, you know landscape or whatnot, and once you click it, make sure you uncheck link here if you're going to delete that photo later. The link just means, kind of like in Adobe InDesign, when you file, go to File Place and place a photo in there, it's not really embedded in the file itself. It's linked. So if you delete that photo later, InDesign is going to say, hey, there's a broken link. You're going to have a pix kind of a pixelated photo if you print this out as a PDF without showing it where you move that photo to. Um, so I just uncheck link so it embeds it into the file. Only reason you have it checked is if you know you're not going to move that photo and um, you know it wouldn't be embedded in there but I think it's just better uncheck link and just have it embedded in there. So go ahead and uncheck that and then select one and hit place and it'll place it just like this. Now you can click and drag the corner and so you can distort it though. So see how I distorted it. Click Control Z to undo. Uh, Command Z on Mac. If you click and drag your corner and hold Shift, then it maintains that correct proportion. See? Um, but anyway, I'll move that around. And this is how you do live trace. See up here, if I just click that, it would automatically do certain settings. Um, it, it's basically converting this raster image, which is pixels, kind of like in Photoshop. It's going to convert it to actual illustration, um, vector image. That's points and paths, not just pixels as in uh, raster images. If you click this little arrow next to it that points down instead of hitting the live trace, and just go down to tracing options, and I'll hit OK, it says it'll take kind of go slowly because it's a larger image, and that's fine. Um, under default, you can s click over a couple of these and see what it comes up with. You know, if I just hit one color logo and hit preview, it'll kind of show you there. It's just one color logo. That would be kind of a neat effect if you're wanting that. Um, if you go to say color six, yeah, it's going to go here for a second. Um, with these presets, after you set one, you can still adjust the settings down here as well. Okay, so I have it at color 16. You can see it right there. But right here, max colors, if I change that, say, just to 2, what it will do, it'll actually make it so it's just two images, or two colors, OK? Kind of like a two-tone thing. Um, so max colors is the maximum number of colors it has. Path fitting, uh, minimum wear, corner angle. Experiment with those and see how that affects, basically, this um, how close it traces to the original. Anyway, once you have something you like, hit trace. And right away, go ahead and hit expand up here. And that expands it. And what I mean by that, if I use the black selection arrow and move it around, it's kind of acting as one object. If I go to view and then outline, it'll show me right there. See, that's an outline of it. It's kind of one object, OK? Go to view preview. Now, if I, whoops click on one of these things um, with the black, you know, if I click off here and click on again with the black arrow, I'm actually selecting just that. Or white arrow, the direct selection tool, I can really click just specific things in here, okay? And that shows that it's been traced. So if I click this background arrow, hit backspace to delete, then I have just these cards. And I can click here, you know, and delete some of these things in here or change the colors of them, right? I'll just show you what I mean. See, so I want to do that, but um, so you can click these specific shapes and experiment with different 
settings here, okay? So you have, this is an actual vector art now. It's traced automatically with the live trace tool. Um, it may have more edges than you'd like. You can uh, click and hold onto the pen tool and there's add anchor tool. Of course you can add anchors, you can remove anchors, you can still use the white direct selection arrow and see how there's you know a bunch of points right here. If you manually traced over that you probably wouldn't have that many points like right there there's way too many but so you can pull that path out you can pull corner anchor points out like that and you can also pull paths out as well okay just like that okay so you can still edit it afterwards um, after it's been uh, live traced I'm going to uh, delete that one and do another one really quickly um, let's say this one of my friend Kelly okay um, let's see make it a little bit smaller and I'll hit live trace tracing options and instead of using a preset I'm just gonna Go ahead and use this to do color, and I'll just do three colors and hit preview, and it will go ahead and preview the tracing. It takes a little bit longer because it's a high resolution image. Okay, there you go. I'm hit trace and hit expand, and as you can see because of the grass there, it has a lot of points like that. And I hit backspace, I'll delete them, you can see um, there, okay. That's why a lot of people would rather just uh, manually trace over a photo rather than use live trace. Live trace is better for more simple uh, shapes like those cards I was showing you rather than uh, detailed images like this unless you're just wanting to save it as a JPEG again and maybe in a web design or a poster or whatnot. Okay, so that's kind of an introduction to live trace. Thank you.